Right, good evening and welcome back. Um, to those that are confused, this was, oh Jesus, that was a bit slow. Those that are confused, we had a little bit of an issue with qualifying going into the race. We had a mass disconnection basically. But uh, we have now reset the grid under qualifying positions and we should be ready to go for this race. So no, no problems. Well, it took about 10 minutes to sort of resort, but we're now ready to go. So let's, let me run you through the grid for today. We have Lukey 1210 in the Mercedes on pole position. Then there's a Renault 2-3 with HLG ahead of Angerfist. Exxon Mansell starts in P4 with Gary in 5th, Master Optical 6th. Then they got Mr. Pirate 7th. Uh, fast part time in 8th, uh, Shadow Racer 9th, and then we've got the guys outside the top 10, Skyline in 10th, Late 11th, Mackie, Blue Mooner, Desert Eagle, Asleep Seal, F1 Acer, and BDRW. So that is the grid <sighs> for tonight's race. Let's hope we have no more issues going forward. But nobody's reading up, which is a good thing. We should get this race underway. My name is ATA Mr. Michaels. I'm in the com box by myself tonight, which is no problem at all, but it has definitely been a dramatic one already. And we've only just gone through qualifying, so God only knows what we can have in tonight's race. Again, I hope there are no issues. We don't want another Russia. So that's we'll begin shortly. Slightly overcast conditions for tonight's race. No chance of rain because that's what the lobby was going to be when we tried it the first time. That is the rule. I'm going to set it under the same conditions. So there's a site server issue. I don't know what's happened, but we should be ready to go. So the drama that we had in qualifying. Championship leader, as I said, Desert Eagle starts down because he crashed in Q2. So he's got to come through the grid. IGD Skyline crashed at the end of Q2 because of his phone. Got distracted, but... Yeah, he's in the bottom, he was in 10th basically. And uh, we had Shadow Racer also disconnect from uh, before we went into Q3, so he starts 9th. He has a lot of pace behind him, but the two at the front, Luki grabbed pole on his GP2 debut by 8 thousandths of a second. Very, very interesting. So him and HLG might be fighting it out for the race victory. Now let's see. If there is, is any change in the strategy. Gary Allbone obviously went through Q2 on the medium tyres. So he's the highest one. He starts fifth on the mediums. Let's hope he gets a good start. But there's the guys outside the top 10. Ryan on mediums. Mackie on hard tyres, interestingly. And Acer on mediums. That's the only ones to have a look at. But we should be ready to go very shortly. But yes, we shall see. What we can have tonight. I've already been uh, unready up for three minutes, and to be honest, they've done what they've been asked to do, which is good to see. And, uh, yes, I hope um, all the viewers do come back because at the moment we've got zero. But obviously, a bit of an issue, and we can get this race underway. 50% around Circuit to Catalonia for round five of the championship. And let's see if um, we can have some recoveries from Eagle, our championship leader, going into this race. 23 points ahead of second place man on the grid today, HLG. Can HLG bring the points back down to his favour? It's taken a bit of a while to um, be able to ready up. That's quite interesting, actually. Unless... Unless, don't tell me, we're just waiting. Ah, there we go. There we go. So, if Skyland is ready, up, we well, can get this race underway. They have been very well behaved. And I've got to say, well done to you guys. When you watch this again, that's very nice. Um, no real problems. There was an initial reaction, you know, when we had to restart the lobby. But, five, ten minutes, everyone has not readied up. We can get this race underway. Let's hope we have a good one for 28 laps, I believe it is. Around the circuit to Catalonia. Let us begin today. And we're going to have five red lights for the Spanish Grand Prix. Round five of the championship. And away they go. It's a bit of a bit of a stop for start here. Let's sit, hope we can don't have another crash going down into turn one. It looks like the Renaults are challenging into turn. Oh, there's a Red Bull going off into the grass. Come back on in front of the Ferrari. That was dangerous. Very dangerous. 
on the red ball there. I don't know what's happening. To go through turn one and two, it's the Renault. Rachel G still in front ahead of Lukey. And uh, Angerfist in third. Gary in fourth on the medium tyres, remember. So, uh, ah, my throat's going to get even more dry. There we go. So, good, interesting start. HLG battling um, Lukey at the start. Five second stop go. Penalty for that. Corner cutting. Game one plays. I don't know what's happened with that, Mackie. So, the midfield bunched together. The front three pulling a little bit away initially from Gary's on the mediums, remember. It's going to hold up this train of cars as they go through. This time, Mr. Pirate, I think. Uh, that, no, it's a sleep seal. I spun it. This optical G, optical G is down. He was up there in fifth at the start. And then we've got a missing front wing. We've got loads of front wings. We've got Blue Moon, we've got um, Shadow. There's a Williams there as well. I think. Uh, I look at the midfield. Whoa! <laughs> I said jumped over the Red Bull. What? <laughs> Interesting stuff. Interesting. We've got gymnastics from F1. Yay! There we go, as they go across the line to begin lap two. Relatively clean start, a few interesting doms in the pits. I don't know why he's in, he might have damage, as is Mr. Pirate, but a few people getting caught up. As, uh, what is this? Is this uh, the Red Bull of BDRW up on the inside of late into eighth place? Late's going a little bit wide, I'm clipping the gravel. But, uh, an interesting stuff, but here is the front three. At the front, it's a Renault, Mercedes a Renault. So Lukey is in the middle of this Renault sandwich here. HLG initially away. Gary is keeping an eye on them on the mediums, which is good. That's what he needs to do. Skyline also on the medium tyres. Needs to keep the lead group. Oh, front three of them as they go through Camp Sagona, turn nine. It's good stuff. Have a see a look at Lukey, he's in between this Renault's. It'll be quite interesting to see what he can do out of this. A few drivers getting caught up. Mackie on the hard tyres, remember. Stayed in 11th place. Who's made the pit stops? Let's have a look. It's, uh, I swear Dom was in the pits. It hasn't said he's made a pit stop. This is interesting. But Optical Shadow, a Sleep Seal Muna, the ones getting caught up. In there as they go through onto lap three. The front three pulling away initially. back on the tyres as uh, Lukey, Lukey is up on the inside of HRG going into turn one, he gets it stopped, HRG looking for the cut back, oh, just about in time, Lukey was completely sideways as he goes through the corner, very, very interesting battle going on here, now HRG is going to be under pressure from his teammate, Angerfist is up on the inside and he's through initially, no, maybe not, and they're losing time because Lukey is away and these two fighting amongst themselves. Who's in front? Decide. Lates is in the pits, unfortunately, so both fast drivers have uh, been through the wars already early. Not good for me personally. As uh, Exxon Mansell's up there in fifth place as well. We've got Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle's had an amazing start from the back. And he's already up into seventh place. That's a good start. BDRW also started from the very back of the grid as Eagle got very close to the back of Skyline. Gary is uh, now watching the both of these Renaults. And the Renaults are still arguing between each other. E uh, Luki has already got two seconds in front. Luki's absolutely flown in front of this battle, but Gary looks to be the one in position here because he's on the medium tyres, keeping up with this. 22.9, fastest lap of the race from Luki. HD won't be happy. Blue Mooner has come out. On the pits. He stays out of the way. He's already a lap down from this. We've got his teammate actually, Mansell, behind him. So Blue Moon has been in the wars. As Eagles made his way past Skyline. Look, you missed that. Only got uh, one set of eyes on this race here. So let's have a look. So fast part time. He's in the pits actually. He's got damage. Oh, he's, he's not happy at all. And that's. Such a shame. He'd have some very good pace behind him, but Skyline, medium tyres behind Eagle here. Very interesting. So Lates has made us uh, made his way into 11th. It's basically 11th downwards are the guys. Interesting things as uh, Muna goes, lets everything through. And it seems it seems to me 
that um, HLG is the fastest of the two, but Anchor has obviously gone through. But Luki is just pulling away now because I do think Ankafis is just holding these, holding HLG back. HLG can't seem to find, and obviously he's getting under pressure from Gary the Force India from behind. Let's see if uh, HLG can get DRS on the back of the Renault Luki again. 22-7, fastest lap of the race. Pulling away now. These two have got to sort themselves out. HLG looking to the inside, but not close enough to make a move. Eagle and Mansell. Eagle on the inside of Mansell and just got through. I noticed there were two hundreds between them and uh, Eagle was through up into fifth place, so he's done well. Up nine places from the start. So it's BDRW, but he's down in eighth place. So Eagle has uh, put his qualifying misery behind him. And he's even 2.9 seconds now behind Gary. You can just about see him in front. But again, HLG is behind, you've got Mr. Pirate, that's, that's him disconnected, and Luki's already gapped them by three seconds. And I still think that HLG is the faster between the two. And these Renaults up in each other, Luki's just gone. Luki's already gone. Up the road. It's all going to be down to strategy once again. Mansell, even within eight tenths, he's got Ryan now behind him in seventh. See what HLG can do. Surely, surely he can feels he can find a way past um, Anger Fist here. Let's see what he can do. Opens up the DRS. And again, Anger Fist going to the inside. Is that an indication of go through? Or is that defense? Tough to say. I don't think he is. And they're going side by side for turn one. Interesting. Anger Fist again letting through. So HLG's through. But Anger Fist, woof. Between the two Renault, so but now, as you can see, there's a four-second gap from Luki to these to the rest of the field. Let's see what HLD can do. Can he close down that gap now? Now you got Gary. Now these soft tires in a strategy. You've got to think about strategy now. These soft tires can only go around about what eight, nine laps. They can go further if you're good on tires and can control them. And anger fist. You've got sideways. Whoa. He did sideways, he got a massive tank slap as he went through the chicane and he is, he's now struggling on these tyres I think. They're fresh tyres remember because everybody started on them because we had the issue and Eagle's going around the outside of, he's gone deep into the corner though and Ankerfist stays in front, he's now going to be under pressure from Mansell once again. So Ankerfist was battling with his teammate, now dropped behind, he got a massive sort of sideways moment coming up through the uh, uphill chicane. I wasn't able to um, wasn't able to do it. Here we go as they go across the line, and it seems that Luki is holding a 4.7.8 second gap up at the front. Let's see what he can do in clean air. It's obviously going to be down to that. As Mantle goes over the curves a little bit too much, and it's a little bit wide. So Gary. Gary is the interesting one because he's in third place. He's six, six and a bit seconds behind Luki at this present moment. He's there. And then he got this freeway battle here. As Mackie's left the session. Oh, no. The, 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 the lobbies at the moment, the servers are not playing with us. They're not being very kind tonight and it's not great to see but I'm gonna carry on guys we've got a race on on our hands now so we got freeway battle anger fist ego and mantle going a little bit deep in today got Ryan as well who's on the mediums remember still there look he's put up the gap to 5.4 seconds I don't think HLG really can keep up with him and see what Lappy does in clean air as he crosses the line now so he's trying to match a 22-7 doesn't go any faster than the 23.5. I think because of this battling that he's been doing with his teammate, tyres have gone down a bit. A BDRW, as we said, up into 8th place from the very back of the grid. It's both Eagle and BDRW up 9 places from the start. 
goes round the one turn three. So Eagle still looking at the back of Angerfist. Skyline is pressurizing Mansell as well for sixth place now. The gap at the top has now gone up to five and a bit seconds, so Luki seems to have the pace over HRG. The factoring in every now and again. It's interesting how this is working out here. So, who starts? It's again going to be just down to strategy. What can these guys do? I mean, Gary on the most medium tyres can obviously maybe try a one stop from where he's at. Let's see what anyone else can do from there. Skyline gradually catching back up to Mansell. Overtaking around this track is very, very difficult. For some reason, it just seems to be not the very best place. Let's see if the Eagle does he have DRS as he does. He does the telemetry up just to make sure. And he's got that there. Goes down into turn one. Yeah, overtake, they just spread out a little bit, which is a shame. So, not much in terms of battles. There's now you've got Eagle and uh, Angerfist within a second of each other. Closest battle on track. The on the stops. See how many is made. We've got Late, Sleep Seal, Optical, Shadow, Fast Part Time and Blue Moon. And Blue Moon has only made two stops. On the tyres now. And Luki every now and again just Luki every now and again just seems to get the gap up a little bit. See now the pace as a fast part time seems to have passed Shadow. He's on the hard tyres. In fact, quite a few down there outside the top 10 on hard to see what they can do. If anything, as uh, there's gonna, there is definitely going to be quite a few people unhappy as uh, set, get a flares and set to free. I don't know what's happened there. There's no safety car as always on this game anymore. As HLG pits from second place. Let's see what tyres he can go on to. Of course, Gary goes through his teammates, see where he ends up as well. Wants clean air, ideally. He will let, see what tyres he goes on. Goes by the race director, hard tyres. Interesting. Interesting for him, BDRW, on to a set of medium tyres, so he's going a little bit aggressive. So that's good. There's the Eagle again. On the back of Angerfist, he's already Eagle. I've got to, got to praise Eagle. A disappointing qualifying, obviously crashed out in the session that we did, well, a few minutes ago. Obviously, we had that issue, but he crashed out in the beginning of Q2. And started 13th on this, and he's already up, and he's now pressurizing Angerfist. Angerfist seems to be struggling with the tire wear. He's got the DRS behind now. See what Angerfist can do. He's got both in under the gearbox of Angerfist. It seems like Gary is well on those mediums. His medium tyres are now coming into that window where they seem to be working. The soft tyres are coming off, and in fact, Luki is now in the pit. So the leader pits from there. Luki has got a five second stop go penalty. He's not stopped in time for the pit lane. That might hamper him, well, it will hamper him quite a lot. So he's into the pits on the hard tyres. In comes Eagle, in comes Mansell. And uh, Angerfist as well. So Gary takes the lead. Ryan's going to move into second. And that's going to hamper Luki a lot. He's into the hard tyres. In comes uh, Angerfist as well. He's gone on to mediums. Uh, in fact, everyone apart from Luki has gone on to medium tyres. So HLG is within. Seven seconds, I believe. Let's see what Eagle comes out. He comes out in seventh. Mansell comes out in eighth. He says softs, but he's uh, medium tyres. So always go by the race director. But Eagle has come out right behind AC. He wants to clear him quickly, and he does. Should be able to make the move going into turn four, and he does so. Still side by side. I believe, yeah, Ace has got damage on his. So he's just trying to get through this damage now. Yes, indeed, that five-second stop-go penalty that uh, Luki has, that's not going to not going to uh, aid him. It's going to hamper him, in fact, quite a bit. 
as we carry on this race. That might even decide the race, I'm afraid. So, Gary Albone leads this race on the median tyre. Those have stopped, obviously. You've got uh, Gary, Ice Skyline, Acer, and Mackie who have yet to stop. So, they're just. So obviously Gary and Ryan obviously want to try and uh, leak out those mediums to see what they can do. The Renaults are doing very well in this race, 4th and 5th so far, on for some decent points, still quite a bit to go, we're on a lap 12. Out of 33, sorry, I thought it was a 28 that race, but it's 33. There we are. Let's have a look at this, no real battles going on. Let's see what HLG can do. He seems to be maintaining a gap of 6.2 seconds between himself and Luki. So at the moment, looking at the stops, you've got a net 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Luki, HG, Angerfisk, and Desert Eagle. All up there. Mansell is now right behind F1 Ace, F1 Ace is struggling because of that damage. Trying to keep those mediums out as long as he can. Mansell's going to have DRS coming down into the turn. The hairpin as it goes uphill is going right up to the inside. Make it certainly sure he's through. And yes, he does. He goes through. He's got a uh, BDRW right behind. But Mansell, this is a good performance so far. Remember, Mansell's only on two points coming into this race. So he's keeping a level head as he does. He's got Eagle in front of him as well. Let's carry on. Oh, Mansell's, Mansell's overdone it. Mansell's overdone. What's happened there? Lag is what's happened. I think he's had a leg spike. A very bad one, actually. Oh. That is... Codemaster, sort out your servers, honestly. It really is a problem. There's a BDRW up on the inside. Going into Ace. Up on the inside of Ace. He's up through. Hit the curves a little bit, though. And he's sideways and he's... Oh! He's off! Get off the gas! Oh! That was interesting. That was very interesting indeed. Well, he made the move and he just got on the curves a little bit too much as he goes through turn two. Sent the car sideways. He couldn't control it. And he's got to pass Acer once again. And again! Oh! Whoa! He's off again! Oh, he's. Seems to be the daddy, the daddy air of Acer. Keeps him throwing him off. Always oh, got to right. You got to be careful, right? Back into the groove of Mansell behind. Oh, the grip of this um, circuit is interesting. It was a bit slidey. It's a bit there. So Acer stays in seventh. Gary Allburn pits. So where does he go on? Onto the hard tires. Yes. So one stop. Yep. Very much doable. So he's on for the one stop there. For Gary, where does he come out in all this? Have a look, he's in front of Angerfist, I believe, so good stint from Gary. Goes into fourth place and net third. So he's ahead of the runners. Is that an undercut? I think it is. I think it is, yep. Yeah. Yes, it is. His tyres are changing as he goes around turn three. Interesting. So he's on the hard tyres. Interesting. Acer pits onto soft tyres, interestingly. Okay. Interesting little thing there. So Mackie, I, Mackie, I believe, actually disconnected from the race. As we've got Optical G, who's going past the sleep seal into the point, trying to go side by side with him. Just contact between the two. They're still side by side. He's still on the inside. Yes, he is. He's stuck it in there. Despite everything in this race, he still wants to fight. he got a sleep seal right behind on the hard tyres. Trust me, it's hard tyres. Yeah, interesting gap. Interesting battle there for 10th place in this race. The sleep seal wall. It was at the back of uh, obstacle there. There we go. And now, at the top, we have Luki, who is now catching up to the back of Skyline. Skyline still has not pitted on those mediums, trying to take them as long as he can. But he got his teammate now, of Luki, who has opened up the gap a little bit to HLG now, 6.7. Race still went over. But you've got Angerfist now, is catching off to the back of Gary. Obviously Angerfist is on the 
We got Anger Fist, Eagle, BDRW, Mansell, all on mediums. These three, Luki, HLG, and Gary on hard tyres. So, interesting little strategy going on here. They could can do the one stop, although it was early going on to the hard tyres. They're going to have to stretch these tyres as long as they can if they want to do that. Obviously, remember, Luki was dropped down to GP2, so he make him more competitive, and he certainly is. Turning up in the front. Race is not done yet, though, as Eagle has got within a second again of Angerfist. They, these two, those two seem connected. As I missed a pirate again, I'm afraid. Let's connect from the lobby as Ghost Car getting in the way, but speaking of getting in the way, we've got Ryan now. Obviously, the team owner of Mercedes, is he going to let Luki through? In fact, he pits. So, there's your answer. So, Luki now retains or gets back to the lead, gets a help in a DRS, actually. So, let's see how Ryan ends up in all this. Going on to the hard tyres, I would presume. Does indeed. There we go, so Gary's in the third. Angerfist with Eagle right behind, so that battle still rages on. Uh, what is Ryan going to come out in relation to BDRW? In fact, Ryan does stay out in front of BDR. There, he, there goes the Red Bull. So Ryan ends up in sixth place and all that. Oh, there we go. So there's the first stops done. Mackie's yet to stop, obviously, but he's on the hard tyres. But he lost a bit of time, obviously, disconnected from the lobby, so... Still with that. As Asus is the fastest lap of the race on the soft tyres, at 22.4. Which... Checking... Yeah, beats Luki's initial time on the early stint, so Acer... Acer maybe is one of those that, you know, could have had the that position. E. Going down to this, actually. Late is behind a sleep C12 in the field. A little bit in late is going to get a good pass. The soft get through. Sleep seals goes wide at the end of turn three, and then late is through into P12. Trying to get on the back end of the points. He is, I'm afraid, though, 21 seconds behind this guy, who's 11th. And Optical is in 10th, so... Need something from there. Dom is in the pits. He's gone through the wall. Right on with that. Shame. Real big shame. Shadow down in 15th. He's left. Mr. Pirate's left. The Sleep Seal is actually left as well. The Dom's on the back end there. Of the points. Right, so let's have a look. So... Gap at the front is now 7.2 seconds between HLG and Luki. So them two... Seems to me going for the race feature, unless they pit again, obviously, and don't do the one stop. It's now the question who is going to continue on on their one stop strategy? Obviously, the only ones that can on the hard tyres. Obviously, got the guys in the mediums, they have to stop again because those mediums will not, and I say will not, get to the end. Um, Anchorfist is running low on fuel, it seems, if that. Uh, uh, thing with that symbol on the bottom right is truthful. Yellow flags in sector two. And if the safety car was fixed, it would you know, solve some of these issues of the gaps, but it is not fixed at the moment, definitely not. It's a shame, but Eagle seems Eagle obviously has had that uh some of the position change. BDRW up ten places. Goodness me, Eagle up nine obviously. So, um, yeah, Eagle obviously has made its way up through the field, has kind of hit a block at the moment with Angerfist. Seems stuck in fifth place, although if he came away with fifth, I think he would be relatively happy, or at least he should be. He'll be losing points to HLG, who has got the gap down to seven seconds. He's not giving up on this. He's been a solid drive at the moment on his debut, remember? So, all good stuff. So, debut times so are first, third, and fourth. Good stuff. There's uh, all three drivers slide their way through the chicane. And you got Ryan in sixth place at the moment. Doing a decent drive. BDRW chasing him down in the mediums. And ideally, if he wants to finish ahead of Ryan, he's got to go past Ryan on the track. He's got to overtake him. Let's see what he could do. Mansell was in eighth. Uh, Mansell's dropped back a little bit. 
from the front sort of group here, but still offers some solid points. Mackie is 13 seconds behind, still yet to pit. Wow, that's interesting. And Optical, Optical is uh, put his uh, race behind him, it seems, because he's up in now in this group. In fact, I need to go up, up to the front. Eagle is now within. He's, he's two tenths behind. Keep a little light as well. Fighting the car through. In fact, Optical is through. Past Mackie. Optical's into ninth. And you've got Acer right behind that. So, again, can have another camera on that, please. Possible. But I have to look at the battle up at the front. Banger Fist. Holding off Eagle. Of course, remember he had that uh, battle with his teammate at the early go, and as Mackie is actually pitting. So, should be going on to mediums. Wait to see what he does from that. But Eagle's going to have DRS on the back of Angle Fitz. I don't think he's close enough. Going into, uh, he's going for the dive bomb, actually. He goes for it. Whoa! Goodness me. That was a dive bomb and a half. It's made it work, but oh, Angle Fitz is still there. Angle Fitz is still there. Whoa! Well, it was a dive bomb and it was incredibly trusting on um, Anger Fist to literally dart out of the way, but it's just position got, I guess. Uh, no damage, I don't think, no. So, Anger Fist, can he retaliate back? Is he going to do uh, a lunge of his own? Let's see as he goes down to turn one. Got the speed, though. Is he going to be close enough? I don't think he is. No, he thinks better of it. And that's the... Uh, that's the wise head that you need to have. Instead of going for that massive lunge, you need to think. Of course, he still uh, seems to be troublesome with fuel. So if he doesn't come back to uh, get him, and Luki has extended the gap, I think HG may have made a mistake. Because <coughs> not only has Luki has extended the gap, but even Gary's catching up to HLG now. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat dry. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, interesting happenings going on, but the camera there as well. So Gary's got the gap to HLG to 2.5 seconds now. Interesting stuff. Of course, there's no rain, which is unfortunate because we had that uh, thing as late as a lap down is staying out of the way of these these guys. There we go. Good stuff down into the final chicane. No other battles really at the moment. ADRW's within two seconds of Ryan but can't seem to close the gap any further. Let's go on to lap 21. Luki leads by seven and a half seconds. <coughs> Gary in third. And I think of all the ones that could go on a one stop, I think Gary really is the only one, well apart from Ryan as well. But Gary and Ryan really are the only ones that could do one stop safely because the others pitted maybe a little bit too early on those hard tyres. They're going to have trouble going into the back end of the race. Of course, remember, the, the ones that are on mediums have to pit again. Interesting to see what Optical G can do from ninth place. He's, I'm proud and happy that he's put, you know, obviously got caught up in the first few laps and he's uh, we're up there in ninth. In terms of driver of the day, though, it's really between Eagle and BDRW. Still a bit of a race to go to find out where they finish, but that's my early opinions at the moment. Eagle and BDR. Because both obviously had qualifying issues and have come back through the field. I mean, you can tell by the position change there. I mean, BDR's up 10, Eagle's up 10 as well, so they're both equal. Anger Fist. This battle between Anger Fist and uh, Eagle seems to be continuing going on. And within DRS, and Eagle just got a good enough drive out of the final corner. Just got a little bit of a gap here. As BDRW is in the pits. Okay. I'll have a look, but <laughs> Anger Fist got very close for turn three. I should have stayed on them. BDR is going on to the soft tyres for final uh, 10 lap dash towards the end. He's obviously got a set free. I guess it's a good thing for those. See again, yeah, everyone has sort of like a 
an extra set that they can go to. Optical G from 9th is also pitting. Drops to 10th behind Acer, who's on those soft tyres, blasts his way through. Again, this battle, these two are just literally locked together in a fight. And obviously, Eagle had that lunge into this very same corner right here. And Angerfist not close enough to have a go. But yeah, Angerfist definitely had to dart right out of the way of those. There may have been a collision uh, between the two of them. But obviously, they're away from the battle for the podium at the moment. Eagle's five and a bit seconds behind, and of course they're on the medium tyres, so... In fact, in that front three battle, Gary has cut the gap down to two seconds. So Gary is, uh... He's the one that has the pace over the three. Again, Angerfist cannot seem to get that drive out that final corner. He doesn't seem to get the traction. Eagle does. So... Doing very well. Oh, and he got that dirty air as well. That's another problem. The dirty air between these cars and of course Angerfist and Eagle earlier on today um, on, involved in the same thing I was on board of Angerfist and I saw a McLaren spin off and crash and that was Eagle so <coughs> these two have been the talking points of the uh, tonight's race and again they're locked again and Angerfist find a way through his problem is is the final corner he doesn't seem to get the drive Halliday, he's got DRS behind, he's not close enough for a look, or even a lunge, or even anything of remotely that day. We got close though, under braking, seems to be better on the brakes than Eagle. Just maybe, again, this fuel problem might be an issue for him. Of course, remember that top three, you got that five second uh, penalty that Luki has. He either takes in his stop or um, is at the end of the race time as uh, Angerfist goes into the pits get maybe the undercut and eagle I think maybe he should go on to soft tyres it says he's on soft if you look at it but trust me he's on mediums Skylar moves his way into fifth because of this stop see what tyres he goes on I presume it's soft tyres it is indeed so there we go my moves into there so here's Gary he's got Gap again is just hovering around two seconds. They seem to be locked as BDR sets a fastest lap of a 21.5. That's the fastest lap by a long way. Great stuff. Very good. He's uh, pushing his way back. Ace of Pits. That moves Optical back into the points. And Acer. He keeps on popping up with the penalties. He's got another one speeding in the pit lane, I'm afraid. He's. Down there in 10th, that might move Mackey into the points. Uh, I don't know, I think Mackey's far too... Mackey's too far behind. In fact, he's got a uh, <clears throat> Mercedes of Luki, I believe. So Acer just about stays in the points. Yeah, so Optical is in 9th. EDI in 8th. Should go to the end now. As should Angerfist. So what is Eagle going to do? He do does indeed pit. So this is going to be the battle for 4th place between these two. Angerfist got the undercut down. The undercut is very, very powerful. So, we can see what happens. Obviously, Eagle's going to go onto soft tyres. Of course, the end leader's still not pitting. Ryan moves into fourth. And into the soft tyres. Let's be on board with Angerfist. See what happens. Where is Eagle? There he is. I think Angerfist is going to have the undercut on Eagle. He does. He does by. Well, that's nearly even a second. So, Angerfist gets the upper hand on the battle to see if Eagle can retaliate. He's got to close that gap back again. Eagle currently in 7th place in this. They got Manson from, who's obviously made one stop, so... And now Angerfist is going to have the grip advantage going into this. Now you can see that you can see the difference, the closing speed. Now Angerfist has yellow flags all over the place happenings are going on. Let's see and Mansell sliding sideways under the grip. Angerfist he wants to clear Mansell very quickly. He has the gap or he's got to be patient. But at the same time he's got Eagle right behind. Let's see what he could do. He's having a company inside. Is Mansell going to, going to let him through? No. Well, you saw the gap was there and then sort of closed it and Angerfist is losing so much time. Look Eagle is 
think he was catching him hand over fist because of this Ferrari. I mean, Mansell's just running his race. So, it's nothing Mansell's doing. He's just defending. He's trying to take these tyres as long as possible. He dives into the pits, but the damage is done. Because... Damage is done because Eagle is now within DRS. And he's got it. Angerfist got the DRS from Mansell, but... Well, okay, battle resumes. Because Mansell being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or wrong place at the right time, it depends what your feelings are, but... There we go, so this is now the battle for 5th place, because Ryan on those hard tyres is trying to get them to the end. So, <clears throat> lap 26 now, 7 to go, and the gap at the front is now 8 seconds with Gary 2.7 behind, so he's lost a bit. And now Igor is going to put Angerfist under a lot of pressure now, this is going to be a bold move up in the inside, he is, he's got the gap, and he is, muscles his way through. Didn't have, uh, there was contact, but I think Angerfist, well, he made a little bit of a mistake. And the gap was there. 10 second time penalty for Acer. What has he done there from the corner cut him? Jesus. And a uh, ball oh, speed in the pit lane as well. Well, he's not having a good time by the looks of it. And again, battle resumes. Acer's actually retired, so that's a shame. And then Mackie's in the points now. and. Angerfist, this battle was relentless between these two. Fantastic to watch, but let's see what Angerfist can do. This helicopter can, we see him just getting closer, closer, closer. Get back on board. Seems to me that Eagle has quite a bit of a low aero, actually, because even with the LRS, he got so close behind the gearbox. <laughs> and the battle between these two. Raid is on. Closest battle on track. Seems to me, actually, the front three may be set in stone. I don't think they may be. I don't think they're pitting, to be honest. And again, Angerfist is looking, finding a way through. I don't know what his uh, view would be on his first race in ATS. Eagle Wall. Eagle's under pressure. He hasn't really been under pressure for quite some time, Eagle. And now he's he clipped the grass. You see, a little bit. Angerfist looking up on the inside. Eagle gives him the room, or left in the room. Thought he was going to make a move. A little bit of contact, or a little bit of, I don't know, tire rubbing against the side of Eagle's car. But Eagle <coughs> just about stays in front. You can see, he's, he sort of understood that Angerfist was there. And again, he said, I'm, I'm just stuck in it. I mean, I'm stuck in it because there's no other battle, but. This is very intriguing, and once again, he's got a much better drive at the final corner. But again, that aero of Eagle seems to me, he has enough. And again, Angerfist, very wise, doesn't seem to have... It must, it must be the setup that Eagle's running. He gets such a good drive at that final corner. And he has so much straight line speed that he can't... Um, you know, Angerfist cannot get back at Eagle now, so... It carries on, and because they're battling, they're not really catching on the front four. When on the soft tyres, they could be, but it's 10 seconds, I don't think they would. Even if they tried. It's still an eagle now, it's got a few car lanes. Angerfist has made a couple of mistakes in this lap. Eagle pushing away, a little bit of uh, dirty hair. He's coming to play DRS. Not mine because of his ghost car, to be honest. Eagle and Angerfist lies into the corner, he's still trying desperately, close the gap back up to Eagle, and Eagle, a little bit sideways, up through the final sector, a bit of gravel going on, there's a horse in the, uh, in front, is that going to give Desert Eagle DRS? It, uh, well, it will be, it will do, and late, I believe it is late, it's out of the way, should lead the pair of them through, but he's given Eagle DRS, and Eagle just got to go flying off in the distance, Lakes down there in 11th place, he's half a minute behind points, which is a shame, but he'll be back, I'm sure, as will everyone, the Monaco night race. That will be a very interesting um, race indeed next week. Monaco under the lights, potential rain, obviously. There's a potential rain for this track, but it has not come. Have a car in front of them, is Ghost Carver, Sleep Seal, Gary. 
front three seem to be stable at the moment. It's a nine second gap between the top two. Gary within two seconds can't they, and they can't seem to be closing. As again, Angerfist clips the gravel a little bit. Three laps to go. Gary cuts the gap down. I'm keeping an eye on the gap and I'll jump to it if anything happens. But at the moment, this is very close. And now, when Angerfist he went over the curbs too much, that is a penalty that may come back. The point that, of course, of course, Luki still has that five second penalty on top of him. So that will. And obviously he hasn't pitted, so that will come to the end of his uh, race time. So, HLG, if he can get within five seconds, I don't think it's happening. And it doesn't seem to have the pace to catch back up. Now, Angerfear seems made again a few stops. Uh, Mackie ignoring blue flags. What's happened there? Uh, he's actually in between HLG and Gary. In the points is Mackie, but well, that's just a thing that has happened there. Here comes Gary, of course. Gary and Mackie know each other, and Gary would be like, get out of the way in the space. Yeah, and Angerfist has dropped now to 1.7, so I'm afraid that battle is over. It was good while it lasted. But it's there. Mackie is uh, not staying in front. Oh, Mr. Gary, maybe giving a DRS actually, maybe trying to help him. And in fact, he does. So he goes through. Gary has DRS as one, lap number 31. Well, they're definitely going towards the end, Lupi and uh, HRG. Their tyres, though, must be very, very worn. I remember when they pitted. I mean, obviously, they're fresh tyres, and the hard tyres, they are very durable. They can go quite some time. Gary, he can see that Renault car. Hey, whoa, Angerfist! Angerfist! Desert Eagle has made a mistake, a massive mistake, and Angerfist has got this up on the inside. Can he get the move stick? Yes, he does. The off camera Eagle's made a massive mistake because he was so slow on the straight. He normally is quite fast, but he's going to retaliate up on the inside. Going through turn four. Give me a good camera angle, thank you. And it's side by side. This is great stuff. Just coming to view, Angerfist is going to have the inside for turn five, I think it is. Oh, it's rubbing tyres. Goodness me. And Eagle's back through. Wow. This is great. Great stuff. So obviously Eagle made a mistake going into the final corner. Angerfist within DRS have got it. This is great stuff. Gary, who is catching HLG, has got within two seconds. He's got a penalty. That's not going to help his cause. It's, oh, again. It's going to get down to the line. It's going to be quite interesting. And again, Eagle doesn't have fuel issues, but Angerfist does. Maybe the thing. And so Gary's, Gary's actually made a huge mistake. He's got up to three seconds, but look how close. <laughs> look how close Angerfist is. This is this is great battling. It's making my throat go again. But again, once again, Angerfist has got the uh, got the DRS. Plenty of. I mean, plenty of room. It seems to be equal loss is, is losing some pace down the straight. And again, gets up on the inside, gets it stuck. So, we're back again. We're on lap 32 of this race, two laps to go. It seems to me Luki has got it, unless he makes a massive mistake. Angerfist defending very heavily on the inside. Can Eagle get the, the cut back, gets a better drive out the corner? He does, he does. Can he lunge it up on the inside? Going into turn five. Angerfist gives him the room. Notice there with the lunge. And again, side by side between the pair of them. Even a good camera angle. Whoa. Good hard racing. As Eagle goes sideways. And Angerfist. No, there's no room. Oh, and Eagle just pushed him off. Oh. Oh, goodness me. It was all going so well. Oh, yay, yay, yay. It was all going so well, and Angerfist actually lost the position to BDRW. Ah, uh, it all ended in tears. It all ended in tears. I mean, there was barely enough room to fit a Renault car on the outside anyway, but still, I think that was a little bit of a nudge. We'll have a look at that, but that is such a shame. I mean, it was a good battle, though, coming up to it, but 
We're on the final lap of this race and Luki has just done the job. That's all he had to do. They were battling at the start between him and the two Renaults. The Renaults, I still feel the Renaults got in the way of each other. I think Extra G was the faster of the two, but was held back. Luki got the gap and, well, he's just maintained it from the start. He does have a penalty and maybe he has more. I have not checked. I mean, they may come into play, but, well, Ryan's going to be happy anyway. His teammate for Mercedes is going to come through and maybe take the victory as he comes around the final corner for the final lap of the race and he indeed takes the victory in Spain. Well done for Luki. Let's see if HLG comes through in second. He's going to gain points in Eagle no matter what happens. And he's going to come through. Is he going to take second? He does. And Gary's going to take home third place in this race. Ryan is going to come home a very solid fourth. He's lost points to uh, HLG, but he'll be uh, relatively happy. And Mercedes have got some very, very good points today. So fourth place for him. Eagle is fifth. Going to come home for fifth. Still a great drive from himself, you know, from the back of the grid. Why is he slowing down? Is he out of fuel? He's out of fuel! He's out of fuel! And BDLW, he's gone through the fifth. Oh my goodness, he's struggling to the line. And Angerfist is also out of fuel. Coming through Mansell. <laughs> no! Oh my god. Why? And Angerfist gets seven because Eagle crossed the line anyway. But Eagle has lost out to fifth from BDRW. Drama at the line. I saw that Angerfist had issue with the fuel. I didn't know Desert Eagle was out of fuel as well. But they were coasting towards the line. Mansell got through the line, but penalties obviously have organised that. But what a race. Good stuff, guys. I mean, the front three, obviously the gap was, you know, once it was settled, it was done. And this track is very difficult to catch. But a win for Mercedes. I believe it's their first win, actually, for their team. The rider be happy for GP2. Hopefully everyone else should be. There's a few incidents. It wasn't entirely clean, but we had a good racing and that's you know, that's what matters at the end of it and there's the podium there very good stuff so that's there is the race results penalties galore it's actually a 10 second penalty for Luki, which in effect is time which is weird i don't know what's going on there but he has taken the victory with hg second gary in third place hg igd skyline fourth bdrw from 17th on the grid up to fifth Great stuff. Eagle, you should be happy with that with 6th from 14th. And you got Angerfist 7th, Mansell 8th, Optical Genie 9th, and Mackie picks up the last point. And I breathe. <coughs> Hope my voice recovers for tomorrow. Because, well, uh, exciting from a steward's point of view anyway. What can we say? Uh, oh wow, we've got uh, loads of messages. Okay. Okay, da da da. It's okay, we've got a lot of messages running through. I think this being on the left. Da 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 da. Okay, but well we got. We got messages going through, but I need to get the front three into the podium, so let's do that now. <sighs> My throat hurts. <laughs> I hope I'm not by myself all the time, but yeah, we'll obviously see, a, see if we can get another commentator involved. Yay. Come on, join the party. Yay! There we are. <coughs> ah, my throat hurts. Right. Because I've... I've... Well, here we go. Here's the front three. Put a tick into your... In the box so we can hear your opinions. Yep. 
of this race. Well, here we go. So we got the front three and we go first to... Let's do it reverse, actually. Let's go from third to first. Let's mix it up a little bit. We go to third place. Oh, thank Mr. thanks, Michael. Long time what? mistake. What, should I give you time to think of your response? <laughs> no, uh, you just wrote a nice time <laughs> for me to be singing to you on the podium for once. That's all. Yeah, actually, I've never interviewed you, so this could go well. So we go we to third. We have next third... in another league, which we already men mentioned. Whatever. Um, so let's go to third place on the third place on the podium. Um, Mr. Gary Albone, obviously your debut in the ATA leagues as a whole. Third place for yourself and the for Team Force India, which need the points. I must say, must say that. But for yourself, a good start. Good start to your uh, to your uh, league for yourself. Uh, what's your what's your thoughts? That was boring. Well, be a little um, bit more chirpy okay. than that. Well, it was, it, I just didn't have a place to catch um, HOG guy, and I was basically just doing time trial laps. Um, I do a lot of 100% races in career mode, so I knew what my strategy was going into the race anyway by that, so that's it. That's it. He has... That's, there, was, there was me thinking, my first interview with you, Gary, it was going to be, you know, interesting. And he was like, oh, just doing time channel laps, just going around in circles. Or blah, 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 blah. Oh, well. well when, you, when, you're, when you're basically slowing in the guy in front, but catching him, but not that much, a lap, it's very hard to motivate yourself to try and push. I was hoping for him to make a mistake and me to capitalise, but that was it. He just didn't. So, well played to him. Okay. Well, anyway, well done on your third place, Gary. A good start to yours, to your ATA career, I guess. And uh, thank you. Continues forward. Well done to yourself. So we go through to second place, HLG. Now, I bet there was a little bit of a smile on your face when Desert Eagle had his uh, mishap in qualifying, being outside the top ten. He still recovered, but yourself, you've gained points on your championship rival with this a very solid second place. Lost out to Luki by the very slimmest of margins. But still, you've got to be happy with this. This is, as I said, gaining points on Eagles, so you must be uh, pleased with a uh, podium for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with that second place, to be honest. That was a very good drive there by Luki. I had no pace to, to keep up with you, and that straight line speed you had on those first few laps, not a chance. Um, I did have some of my some issues, to be fair. Uh, but I had the setup glitch, so even though I loaded my setup, I didn't have my setup. So that was fun. Um, and to be fair, towards the end, Gary, you say you weren't necessarily catching me, but I was uh, a bit worried at one point. I my tyres were pretty ruined, so you just had to push that a little bit harder. But yeah, other than that, well, I, place is good. I I made a huge mistake, like on lab thirty two on Blast Chicane, so I knew that race was over then. So that was it. Gary, yeah, we, we've had you. You've had your time. This is Central G's time. I've already asked you. You could have said that when I asked you, Gary. Come on. Come on, man. Central G, carry on. Yeah, no, no, that was pretty much all I was going to say anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let me just... Oh, I'll write that message in a minute. All right, so yes, as I said, well done on your, your second place for yourself. And, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. So, <clears throat> we go to the race winner, Luki1210. Um, yes, as I said, um, you just got pole position from HLG in the slimmest of margins, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a great qualifying to watch between you two. It was a heated battle. And a heated battle at the start, because um, that was interesting, you between the two Renos. But you came through. You battled, you came through, and uh, got the gap. And from there, it was just maintaining i guess but yes um i believe your first win in atl we'll see now in gp2 um again yep. like like gary a good start yeah yeah i mean i didn't have the best of starts uh, obviously hlg had a better start than me after i got past him i think it was end of lap two uh beginning of lap three i was just wanting to push keep the gap and after a uh, pit stop got the five second stop go and I was like, oh no, 
I've lost the race, so I just had to keep pushing. Went to the end on the tyres, which was a bit of a gamble because I wasn't expecting them to last that long. But you know, what can you do? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But obviously, going into the next race of the calendar, um, which obviously is the Monaco Night Race, um, what are your thoughts going into there? I mean, like most of the everybody, surely it's um, get through some decent points, or do you see do you see yourself as a Monaco specialist? Well, not a Monaco specialist. I'll have to practice a bit more. It's just being careful, staying away from the. Probably go for pace. Just try and get to the end of the race with decent points if I can. Indeed. Well, that shall be it for the uh, Spanish Grand Prix. That was uh, the fact that my throat is dry is an indication of what has happened there. We've had, we had a dramatic qualifying. Uh, we had the issue with the qualifying to the grid, which was sorted very nicely. I've got to commend everybody for that. And obviously we had a dramatic race. Um, you know, anybody that wasn't involved in the battle for fourth and fifth midway through the race must watch that because that was intense stuff. But <clears throat> yes, we will see next time for the streets of Monaco. Under the lights as well, which will add a little extra theatre to the whole thing. But I, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's race. And we will see you next time. Remember, the next one will be the F1 division on Thursday, where um, we'll see those drivers going around there. But for GP2, it'll be Friday. I'll see us next time for Monaco.